I have never done this before. So we're all going to learn together. I was messing with my lighting because it was not quite right. I'm hoping it's okay now. Hey, Daphne. I'm going to give this a couple minutes for people to show up. It seems like there's already a few here. So. I'm going to kind of do this from start to finish here. Um, like, I haven't even looked at the dimensions and stuff for this. I'm going to completely kit it up and get it started. Um, this is my mania start for today. I just got it at the retreat, what, last weekend or the weekend before? I don't know. Time moves so fast these days. And um, so, yeah, I'm going to get that up and get it started for mania. But I'm indecisive about fabric, so I figured I would kind of go through how I do it and see what y'all think on fabric and floss and stuff. So, hello, Rachel. I've never done it live before. I mean, on the virtual stitchers group, sometimes we broadcast that live, but I'm not by myself. There's other people um, to say things. <laughs> That is that. So this is, I'm taking it out of the shiny packaging. Fox View by Plum Street Samplers. I haven't, I didn't jump on the bandwagon with Goat Load or really any of the others, but when the foxes came out, I couldn't say no. They are so cute. So cute. Too bad I've already worked on my S and my P for homework this week, or else this would count. Because we got Paulette Stewart, that's P and S. Um, hey, Carly. So, I just have my E and my W left. For homework. It's so cute. Carly, we're kidding at Fox Field. So it calls for a bunch of weeks dye works and classic color works. I might have a couple of them. I know I don't have most of them, but I had that fancy floss and I have that fancy floss and I have all my DMC right here. So the chicken one's really cute too, though. Now that I've got this one, I'm like a, I might end up doing some of the others. I just might. So, okay, I'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first. Um, they, the model was stitched on 36 count Winders Brew using one strand of floss over two on linen. I'm not doing any of that. Stitch, stitch count is 54 by 90. So, let me pull up my calculator here, because that's how I roll. I have the app. I've never had a problem with the app. The X-Stitch calculator. Uh, Damn that. X-Stitch calculator. I've never had a problem. So, that... Four by 90. Um, I'm going to write it down for 20 and 32 because those are the two counts I, I get. Would it work for 24 hours of cross stitch? 24 hours of cross stitch, there's no rules. So you can stitch on whatever um, during all of that. Oh, 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 you mean the 24? Hmm. Yeah, there's an F for Fox Few. Um, Think so I don't know what else theirs is pretty laid back so 
There's probably, there's bees on here. Like, there's probably something else you can use for it. I haven't decided yet whether or not I'm going to do the 24-hour June challenge. Um, oh my goodness, this stuff is stuck together. But I did print it out, and I'm going to think about it. <laughs> we're doing, we're hosting on Virtual Stitchers a live event for the, for the take three, though. Okay, so I'm going to write down for 28 count and for 32 count, because those are the two fabrics I have. So 28 is, I'll need an 8 by 11. I do a two inch margin. I know some people do three. Um, sometimes when I really mess up, I give myself no margin. I just, I just roll with it. I make it work. It's all cool. So, and then 32 is eight by 10. I mean, there's really not a lot of difference between those two. Um, so let me get my fabric. We'll start with fabric. So this is all my stuff. I'll go ahead and pull the floss over there while I'm working on it. I have to catch attention here in a second. I messed with the scissors. All right. So I need to name a 10 piece of whichever that I don't think I have. Well, I mean, I have some ornament size pieces, but for the most part. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's definitely, I mean, depend, they even said, you know, if your floss has a name that fits things like that, um, all kinds of stuff. So, what would, what color should I even look at? Okay, so they do it. Theirs looks like a light tan color probably. I have some coffee dyed. I didn't dye it for this, but I could use it and dye some more. Um, I thought about blue, but there's some really, there's a lot of blue in this. So I might have to change the color of the lighter flowers if I went with blue. I have this blue. I have gray, but I don't think I don't think gray will work. Don't like that for that. I normally love gray. Ooh, look at this. Carly, do you recognize this? <laughs> this is Olympus 32 count Lagana from Under the Sea Fabrics that I got at retreat. Like that. But for this, do I like that for this? I don't know. Here's some of the. This is coffee dyed light blue. There's a light blue that I coffee dyed. Or this was the white that I coffee dyed. It got pretty dark, but I really like it. I have this, but I think that might be too something. I don't know, too something. I've got the green. Part of this ha has plans for the end of the month, but part of this could be for this, right? I mean, there's some grass on it, but I just make grass darker than this green. So it looks like there's grass all around. Fog, like barely, barely tan gray colored. Which is this plus? Hey, Zakia. Okay, so for anybody new, we are kidding this up. I'm trying to pick fabric. Um, am taking suggestions. Like, I kind of need a place to start. Like, um. See, it's light tan on here. It's uh, Witch's Brew or Winter Brew from R&R &R Reproductions. 
Um, looks like a light tan to me. But I'm trying to decide what I want to stitch it on. Which may be completely different than that, but I'm trying to find a baseline. I don't think my purples will work. Although this kind of looks like a sunset. I like the tea coffee bed too. The gray or the white? I don't know. Part of me doesn't want to go with a real crazy fabric on this one, which is very odd. This one has a little bit of green and blue. That could work. It's subtle enough. Need a place for the stuff that is definite now. <laughs> like, duh. too dark. <laughs> There's light and bright. But that's sparkly. I'm not sure I want it on sparkly. Oh, what are you? We got a yellow. Let's see, what size is this? Eight by 12, it'd be the perfect already cut piece. Ooh, but it's 40 count. Might look good on a 40 count over one. Coffee dyed fabric, yeah, I'm thinking too. I was kind of thinking that like, as soon as I got it, but then I was a little worried it was kind of gonna be too dark. easier to see. Too dark. Well, I mean, not really. I think it could work. Put the gray off to the side too. You're talking about the light gray, right? Not the dark gray. I don't really like the dark gray. Let's see. We got a blue gray. That might be too bad. This is incoming storm. Why is this in here? Oh, because I got to sew fabric around the sides. Look at that. I really like this. I need to find something to stitch on this. This isn't it. But I really like that. I got a light pink. Rosemerita. It's kind of a pink with gray in it. Almost to the end of my stash here. I think all this is a small, small cut. Ooh, you want to put it on? That is some red, y'all. I got this dark green. And another tea pop cap. Yes, the light green. I think that's it. I think I definitely want to go a little more dark green. Okay. So here's what we've got. This one might be a little bit modeled for the fox. So we got the coffee dyed, got the dark green, the light gray. Pink, blue, and like blue green. Oh, and the light green. So I can limit it down to that. What do y'all think? Still seems like coffee. Coffee dyed or dark green. Okay, so what we'll do, I'm gonna put gray too because somebody else said gray. So those three, and then we will look at floss and decide from there. So, I'm gonna show you all the pattern again because I love it. So pretty. 
Okay, so let's see if I have any of the called for, because I do have some. Let's see, wheat side works. Roasted fig, coal, sweet potato, amber, parchment, twilight, or sea foam. I know I don't have snowflake. Um, I'm flipping through this. Hold it up. Like heavy. I'm fixing to separate out because this is kind of everything that's not Victorian motto or color and cotton. I'm about to have to separate them out so I can actually find things. Lost us. Well, at least we've gotten us down to three, so that's important. And I like them all, so I don't have to argue with you. Ooh, I got coal. So here's one of them. It's basically uh, $37.99. Keep going. You need roasted fig, sweet potato, amber, parchment. Are any of y'all doing mania? How is your mania coming? Pumpkin. Oh, I'm supposed to look this up so y'all can see. Oh, pumpkin? No, sweet potato. So close. Hi, Crafty Cam. See, I, I feel like I'm back at where I was. Okay, yeah, I am. Okay, so I have one of the week's dye works. Daphne did monogamania on giant Harry Potter. Nice. Oh, so, okay, so for classic color works, where do I have those? We need deep fennel, pine needles. Pine needles might be the only one I have. Nature trail. Currently failing my mania page. Um, haven't met any of my goals, but progress is progress. This is true. And that's that's the thing people need to remember is to not get so caught up in it that you um, kill the stitchy bug, you know? Awesome. Yeah, so I have I use, I use, I use challenges and mania and year of um, whips as guidelines just to help me find a direction when I'm stitching. I am kidding up Fox you, and then I'm gonna start it because it's my mania start for today. Um, we have decided we are choosing between gray, coffee dyed, and dark green. So I'm going through my floss right now and trying to see if I have any of the called for, and then we will go through my Victorian mottos and see if anything works. And then we will um, go to DMC if we have to. If we have to. Nice, graduating high school. Okay, I don't have what I thought I did. So, I thought, oh, I thought I might have pine needles. So I have Pebble Beach. I think it was the, no. 
No, I have that one somewhere. I know I do. This is all not organized at all. That's that's part of the problem. Oh, I got piney woods. Maybe that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Okay, so I had one of the flosses. I'm gonna do that count. Okay. I was trying to remember what pattern that was. See, I'm used to doing this with a room full of people, so other people are talking to um, and can show off their stuff. So, um, this is the floss we have. And then. We need other colors. I wish I had something that could just, no, I'm not on a, a hangout. Uh, I'm, I'm just YouTube live for the first time. Hi EJ. So the problem is, <laughs> I don't know what any of these are supposed to look like other than they're supposed to look like the picture. I really need to like zoom in on the picture. Parchment. Well, okay. I'm going to pull the pattern out so I can kind of reference where things are at. You can't see that part. Um, has anybody done this one? Just curious. I don't think so. Okay. So the outside of the flowers is the hashtag symbol, which is seriously, my kids have gotten to me. I would have called that a pound sign or a number sign until my kids. And now I call it a hashtag and my kids call waffle fries, hashtag fries. So that is the classic color works tartan plaid. It's kind of a darker blue. I want to use this for the flowers. Apparently I want to use this for everything because I just used it on the, something else. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to pull this for the flowers and then I need a darker blue to go around it. Right. I should probably DMC convert, see what they look like and then go from there. Cause like the green on that looks really muted down here in the hill. All my greens are not muted. So I don't know which one I want. My coloring is not great, but that's a very nicely modeled green. A bit darker. Ooh, wait. It's this one. Let's see about this one. We got scupper, scupper nong. Will that work? Can we use it? Scupper nong? Y'all, really, the name. Like, hold that. See what y'all think. Okay. Need a darker. Ooh, what about that? That's really pretty for like the outside of the flowers. What do you think, Kim? Would it make a good um, for a hill? I think so. I do think if I use that, then this might. Well, no, they're different enough. It could work. I might be rebelling against the gray, just so you know. It's a type of gray. That's interesting. A scupper long is a type of gray. Um, I might be rebelling against the gray. I don't know that I like it as much as the other two. Just saying. Okay, so we got that. Um, 
Because, like, this is a really, I've, I've loved this green ever since I got it. It makes me think of Slytherin. Because uh, it's got, like, a rich green and a dark green in there. But I feel like that would be too dark for this pattern. It's a really light one. But it's not as variegated. I think I like that the hill is variegated so it looks like grass. So, I think scupper long might be it. I also have, what is that? Ivy, but it's it's a little more blue. <laughs> Think I may have to try it. Scupper mong jelly. Where's pine? Was pine one of them? Pine needles, man. They're just nitpicking now. Hunter's not bad. Okay, moving on from the hill. We found the hill. Um, a darker. So do these go together? Like this would be the outside of this flower or is that too, too different? Okay. I'm gonna, for these flowers, that might be a little too drastic, huh? Maybe. It might look really good though. What do you think? Oh, killing my buzz, Kim. <laughs> now, this is dark. This is actually a blue. They are bright. It's the fabric, though. I just, I love this color. It's so pretty. I've already used it for something recently, too. They're too bright. So, I need something like this, maybe. The light, you like the light of blue, bold, yeah. I don't mind making it more bold. I mean, there's something about the vintage -y look of it or the whatever, but I don't mind making it like, I mean, you know me, I like them. So. Y'all, I am trying to dig through these. Oh, I hope. Hold on, I have another one. Mm. These are very extreme. Rebel Way, yes. Yes, yes, yes. This is really pretty. But again, really bright and it's got a lot of green in it. So that looks like a mermaid. could use this for the lighter blue flowers. It's a little purpley, but. Remember you're just using one strain of it or two. That is true. Give us name so we can say yes to the color instead of that one. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, so I like Avalon for the darker flowers. And I like Bluebell for the lighter flowers. I suggested presidential blue for the outside of the darker flowers, so it would go around this one. But those might be too too much. I'm gonna sneeze, y'all. <sighs> Maybe I might be able to get it to go away. Okay. Um, this was another, we like Avalon. Okay, so Avalon's a definite. Too royal for Avalon. See, I may have to go DMC then because I really don't have a darker blue that isn't, bam, right? Um, no, okay. We'll see what the, let me see. Okay, can somebody look up? <laughs> Oh no, it has them next to it. Okay. What is that? Oh gosh. 3768. 30, what? 3768. You are in the wrong place. Okay. So, oh, no, that's not 
either. Oh, somebody's been playing with my flaws. These are not in order. Okay, let me find my other box. Hold on. Where is my other box? Wait, stop being a truck. It was me. Oh, seven and seven. Okay. So, that, does that work? Still seems pretty dark. Should I just start pulling it? What about 517? 517 works. Yeah, 797. Mine looks really purple. I feel like if my light was where it's supposed to be. Oops. I'm going to draw and draw in light for just a second. 161. Ooh, that's pretty gray, though. Mm, it's not too bad, but it's pretty light. The 517 with the light again. Oh, it makes it look really close. 930, I'm not sure if my light made it better or worse. What is there an equivalent for Avalon? It doesn't say. So, and it's variegated, but just slightly. Does that work? <laughs> Does that help? I nodded like you could see you. Oh, the light is way too in the computer now. Let's see. So did we see, was the non for this one? 9.30? Okay, this is for, you see these flowers? Big flowers. Hi, honey. So the bit, the bigger flowers. So Avalon's going to be the bigger part of it. And then we're trying to find that. No for the no. 807. Should be a better way to, there we go. We're getting it now. See, I feel like 930 might be, I mean, it's darker, but it's not gray enough. Yeah, so, where is it? Right around the edge, there's like one row of a darker color. Is that showing any better? Like, see right here? So it's just like a shadow almost or an outline. Uh, yeah, sniping spades is my husband. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't freak out. <laughs> so I think, I think I might go with 517. Nope, that's wrong. Where's Avalon? Moving on. Oh, and the lighter flowers. Okay, so then there's these flowers that are barely there. 
right there. Um, it looks like they have white in the middle, which white is white, right? You don't need a special white. Um, so I thought about for the lighter flowers doing that. I don't mind the bluebell with me together. We're talking about this. That's what we're talking about. Bluebell. Bluebell is what I'm thinking for the lighter colors. So we're we're good with all of this. I think it's funny that the ones commenting I could have been on virtual stitchers with. <laughs> Those three. Cool. We got the flowers. Um, so I got coal, which is basically the black in the pattern. Um, what's X? Pine needles. So pine needles is the like the, the stems. So for that, could we use, I think I have a pine. Let's see what pine looks like. I need to organize my mess. That's what I need to do. Oh, I've got piney woods. Is that too dark? I need a variegated green for the stem and I have about 10 of them in here. So. <laughs> Let's see. Honey woods isn't too bad. What am I using for the hill? Ooh, we talk, oh yeah. Scupper nog. The light's a little washing it out, but just a bit darker than Skepper. Okay, let's see. And not going blue, because some of these go a bit blue. What are you? Just a bit darker. That one variegates a lot. I don't think I would get that variegation. There's not enough, right? So, well, oh, that's brighter. Mistletoe is too dark, right? It's piney woods. I've got just pine, but it's it's a bit blue. Too greeny, too Christmassy, yeah. Well, it is called mistletoe, so. Hunter. What about Hunter? So far, Hunter, okay. I'll flip around just a little bit more. Oh, man, I totally, okay, that's good, that's good, I got it. I think at 9.37, it's one of these days. Okay. Piney Woods, I do have Piney Woods. Did we discuss this? It's kind of, it's a lot more brown though. I mean, a lot brown. We've got Mossy. Mossy's not too bad. If I have to find a third green for this, <laughs> this pattern, we're going to have trouble. It's kind of olive. Yeah. Pea pod. How does pea pie compare to scuppernog? It's 
So bar hunter. Kudzu. I don't want kudzu. Oh, I don't know. It's a little bit blue. We can go really crazy. I got some Granny Smith. <laughs> I have a moss and a mossy. No, mo mossy is like um, camo. It's got like four different colors in it. That that won't show up. I mean, I won't use enough of it for that to to warrant that kind of variegation. Okay, so. Put all these together with stepper dog. Pea pod. No, first is mossy, and pea pod, then hunter. Hunter or kudzu. I didn't even pull kudzu. You are so difficult, Megan. <laughs> okay, so we're thinking hunter. Yeah. I need to, okay, where are we at? What is that color? Twilight. Ooh, can I use the presidential blue for the really dark little flower things in here? Peapod looks different now. Oh, where'd it go? Does it look different when it's compared to everything? Is that what it is? I need one of those boards. Oh wait, that's Hunter. To hold all this stuff up for me. Whoops. Got Mossy, Peapod, the one we're comparing it to, and Hunter. Be very still. Wait, I can't see if you do that. Okay. Bad arm, it doesn't stay up that long. Let's <laughs> see with the one to your right of this way. That would be Hunter. <laughs> or or Peapot or Hunter. Okay, so Mossy is out. Let's get that straight. I'm going to put them up real close for you. The middle one is the hill. Peapod is this one. Hunter is this one. I'm back. What are we doing? Hey, ladies. Middle is hill. Okay, Peapod. Okay, EJ, we are, they are helping me to kit up Fox View by Plum, Plum Street Sampler. And we've gotten, okay, Peapod. There we go. All right. Now, I need on here, see these little bitty stitches? Really dark. Or a really dark blue called Twilight. I'm thinking I can use the presidential blue now. Where'd it go? I really need, I, I bought three different rings to put all this on yesterday. So just need to do it. Oh, wait. Or Nighty Night. Does that, that's close to Twilight. There's marks, birds, leaves. Um... They're, they're, okay, so these are like mini flowers just kind of flying around. Because see, there's one growing off of the big flower here. Oh, that's a good question. Thank you. Hi, Madam Ice. How are you today? No, um, coal is the border. 
which is like what basically squiggles squiggles No. Residential in the center. Okay. I've got to go back. Hold on. What are those marks? Uh, okay. Do the border presidential too. Okay. I can do that. I can do that. Um, this is a B. This little random thing right here is those flowers. These squiggles are the leaves that we already picked out that color. Don't go back there. <laughs> Presidential. Where did I put that? Okay. Where is <laughs> now it's gone, Megan. It's just <laughs> disappeared. I think I may need to take them off the ring to be able to find the things. It was a dark blue. If you see it, yell. I won't be able to hear you, but <laughs> it'll be funny. Oh, oh, because I took it off the ring. Okay. This is presidential. Okay. So... I don't know what squiggles you're talking about, Ken. Squiggles, professional opinion. Okay. So we're going to use this for, we're going to maybe not use coal. Well, no, we need coal for inside the ears. So we're going to use the dark blue for the middle of the flowers, the outside, and these little things. Floating flowers. Okay, yeah. Yep. Because they are literally like, Two stitches. There are three stitches all over the place. Okay. We're going to get to the foxes, people. Fox. Oh, we need a one. We need a color for the bees. I think I have one. Hold on. Bees, bees, bees. What do they call for? Amber. What about honeycomb for the bees? I'm gonna keep that as an option. And, oh, I dropped something, okay. Or in my Victoria motto, we have like a bright yellow. Okay, so we haven't decided on the fabric because we were gonna do the floss toss, but our three options are coffee dye. <laughs> the pat the pattern <laughs> um this dark green which is it's a little darker than it's showing up but i had to have the light for the floss so dark green and this gray that i might be rebelling against i might i hadn't decided so these are the three we're looking for and so i was going to get all the flosses and then we'll put it on there and just make a final decision um the pattern, in case you want to pull it up on the side, is Fox View by Plum Street Sampler. So, um, I also had a pink in there, if y'all want to pull the pink back. We need the birds, or bees, the bees, the birds and the bees. I've got this sunlit wheat. This prim quilt. These, these yellows or honeycomb. I'm thinking I'm leaning towards honeycomb. See, my only darker gray is a really dark gray and it's too dark. Honey, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Honeycomb. Okay. Well, wasn't that one easy? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Now we're going to get into the foxes because that's all that we have everywhere but the fox. So it looks like top fox and bottom fox are the same. Middle fox is a little different. So I'm gonna fox.
wash the pattern. If you do a honeycomb, it might blend with it to the coffee fabric. Um, it's it's pretty bright. So plus it's surrounded by black because it's a bee. So it's just like two stitches, you know. Okay. So we need like a dark brown and like a red brown. I don't think I like that. Okay. I don't know if I have anything on this ring. So more green. Green was a popular color for color of the month this year. I have lots of green. Ooh, what about, what about, what about? Is this too orange? I am on my Victorian mottos. Picnic basket, what is picnic basket? Indian red crayons. I know, I know. Well, I don't. Okay, let's see what DMC it compares it to. Ooh, we like something. Um, it calls DMC four hundred. So, should we pull out four hundred and see how we compare? too much stuff in here. So this is the color it calls for. So, ooh, ooh, look at this y'all. I think this should be the darker ones. This is mulberry. Darker foxes, mulberry, maybe. What is the subscription call where you get the classic color works threads in alphabetical order each month? It is a uh, nest egg from Trisha at three owl threads. So if you go to the Facebook group, three owl threads pre-sale, um, she has a Google doc. You fill it out. You get the threads in alphabetical order. So I'm pulling mulberry just as a thought. Now, what color? Let's see. Parchment, 822. So I also need kind of off-white. Okay. I think I'm just going to have to use this one because I can't, I don't know that I have the Oh, look, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. This will be like their chest color. Ragdoll. Yes. Do we like ragdoll for their chest? Perfect. I like when you say that. Okay, so let me see. Um... A roasted pig is 300. I think pulling out the DMC to compare a little bit works great. I, I should have thought of this all along. 300, okay. So this is the darker uh, fox and this is the lighter fox. There's not a big difference, but I do want the kind of variegation if I can get it. So does that work for the darker fox? Or should I make it the lighter fox? I need to find another brown. We need some comparison here. What is that? Used brick. You ever seen used brick? That might work for the dark. This is a uh, Crescent Color Works. I didn't even know I had this. Used brick for, oh, no, not that one. For this one. 
But I don't know. That's I don't know. That's no. Let's find the other brown. <laughs> just all just kind of fan out here. Ooh, ooh, look, I found something. Chris Bonbon, like the first color. So, used brick. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. I think if I was using used brick and not using this, but I really like this. So, what if? Oh no. Chris Bonbon is a pretty dark one. That could be it, right? We keep going. Where's my Victorian models? I don't know if I have any brown. Doesn't look like it. Okay, Victorian models out. Sorry, um, EJ. Those look good together. I got like this one, but it's like a greenish brown. What is this? Picnic basket. Did we already talk about picnic basket? See, I don't know. Ooh, who makes that little middle one red? Okay, I'll keep picnic. You did say it. What were you suggesting picnic basket for? I see, I don't really have a light copper. I would have to go to DMC, Dark Fox. Yeah, see, okay. Okay, so if we use this for the Dark Fox, there we go. You know, I'm doing all this and I'm about to shake things up. Look, look, if I call this one the light fox, that didn't help with the color and you did it. And call this one the dark fox. Does that work or did that white just totally wash everything out? But it can hold it. Ah, there we go. There we go. Light and dark. What do we say? And now I'm holding it with my other arm, so that makes it a little easier. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. So now let me get this mess out of my way. This is why people that make really long videos have so much to clean up. Y'all should see the mess I've got. It's exciting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Didn't like that one. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Gonna we got us a light fox and a dark fox. I really like that mulberry. I just, we were going to have to plan around it with their chesty colors. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got, you know, the border. The light flowers, the dark flowers, this one, the hill. I'm trying to kind of put it in, going, uh, in some sort of like where it's going to be on the thing, so you can see. Teapot is going to be by the flowers. I really like Peapod now that we're doing this. Okay. I'm missing a blue. Oh, it was a uh, DMC 517. Oh, this. Oh, and I forgot the honeycombs for bees. We'll just put them. So here's where we're going with the coffee died.
Who are you asking if you stitch on Ada? Who's S N? E J. We have to wait for Megan so she could see. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, side note. Um, I mm, not really. Let's. I can, I will, if I'm doing it for an ornament, I prefer not to. So we got this. Let's take a picture of that. Hold on. Okay. Now let me move that and slide it all onto the green. You know how hard it is not to stick my tongue out right now? I keep starting to do it and I'm like, people are watching, Sam. People are watching. I don't hate it, y'all. I don't. I think the brown or the blues will stand out a little bit better on the coffee dye, but everything definitely works with this color. Like the green better? Do we dare ask you? I mean, we can for the coffee diet. I think the coffee diet is a little more similar to what's called for. Not green. Um, it, it is. Um, what color would you want? If not green or coffee dyed, like, do you really want me to go through my fabric stash? I did earlier. You weren't here for that. Um, I'll go ahead and put on the gray, although I, I will admit. Oh, look. Maybe if I flip to this part of the gray. Look, this is the other thing. Uh, see, there's more modeling on the inside of the gray. So let's try that. Just going to lay them out. I was kind of clumping them for effect, but. Ooh, we might lose the rag doll on this one. <laughs> Kim. Oh. She says, oh. It kind of looked better when I had it all portion now I think but this is dang near like working on white thank you for not filling it I prefer that sorry um Megan okay. um a couple other colors I had pulled out we'll see this is Okay, things just got a little crazy. Hold on. Blue. I will hold on. I've got a blue I need to show you. I'm not doing it on sparkly. Um let me get all the ornament pieces back in my basket. Nope. You sure we don't want to go with this? No, I don't want to do that. So, what size is this? I didn't write it. Okay. I kind of threw out all the really crazy colors because crazy. Um, we got, no, I'm not doing sparklies. I did have this light green pulled out. Uh, okay, so this is the blue y'all saw. It's it's just a light blue linen, right? But wait, 
but wait, but wait, but wait. I also have, this is Incoming Storm. It's blue with a bit of gray. And I have, this is, this is blue with a bit of purple. I'm not sure. I will, I'll do the light green too. Blue with a bit of purple. That might be too much. And we got blue with a bit of green. What was the green before you moved it? This one? This is lily pad. Um, I, this is actually what I'm going to be doing my ladybug mirror on on Friday. Or not mirror, but Nora Corbett. But um, there's plenty. I can do both. Hold it a different way. Before the light green. Uh, oh, this is a, this looks like dirty water. It's like blue, green. I'm thinking I want this for like a mermaid or something. It's a little too dark for this, in my opinion. Got it. Also, I have pink. It's very light pink. And I have yellow, but it's a 40 count. That might actually be very nice for this. But see, my gray is too dark. I don't like the blue green one. See that again. Okay. The dark, oh, this one, this, this is Avalon, I think, no, Freya, this is, was the fabric of the month this month, so, it's blue and green, let me see that yellow, this is Apollo, it's 40 count linen, okay, let's do a floss toss on all these that y'all like. All right, so what do you think about this one? Ding, 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 ding. She has like the light green for this and the blue green floss tops. Okay, let's do the blue green. Where are my flosses? <laughs> ah! <Jeez. laughs> uh, Bandit, stop. My son just got home from the pool, so. What's up, baby? Pool closed. Okay, we'll go change. I'm on live. So, no, I'm not hugging you. Yay. Where'd my flosses go? I only have one kid for the next week. I was just type of floss toss. Okay. I'm going to put the brown together with the cream because those are all for foxes. We got flowers. We got border. We got... This is Freya. We got the Freya. I'll hold it up for a minute. Freya. Okay. Yellow. I'm a yellow fan, y'all. Y'all, y'all won't see me turn down the yellow. Mm -mm. It's like my favorite thing. What, what, what do you need, Ryan? Okay. Let me hold up yellow, and then I'll. Help you. Yes, that's how you spell Freya. Hold the top, Sam. On yellow. The light blue seems like it might disappear. Now, yeah, maybe a little bit, but that's how it looks on the pattern, too. Don't like yellow? Don't like yellow? Or are you blame Freya? Freya, right. Come here, Ryan. Hold on, I gotta help him take off his shirt. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Come here, Push in the middle of your chest. Push. No, not at all. Put your head down. 
There you, you go. Can put uh, no, we'll put it in the laundry. No to the yellow. Yellow black. Okay. Keeps me off a of 40 count, so there, there's at least that. Okay, what else? Oh, incoming storm. This is the blue gray color. Hmm. There's gotta be a better way to do this. This is incoming storm. So yellow is completely out. Hey, one down, about 10 to go. So all good with that. This is incoming storm. Again, that light blue might get a little lost, but let me remind you, on the pattern, it's almost like white. You can't hardly even see it, so. This is incoming storm. What else do we like? We got blue green, we got blue, we got coffee dyed, we got dark green. Oh, the light green. I really like the light green. It's like bam. Ooh, that blue. White is blue. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I might lose. I might, but I might not. I mean, there is that. I feel like I'm starting to lose colors here. Here is the light green. This is lily pad. Lily pad. Lily pad. Okay. One more. Hey, you better mute that. The TV. Okay. Not feeling it. So far, I think coffee dyed really does have the most votes. My son got Old Town Road stuck in my head. He sings the same three lines over and over and over. Here is Rosemary. Rosemary I feel like that should have an accent on it and I just can't get my tongue to do it. It's a light pink with a little bit of gray in it. Not liking the pink either? Or was that from earlier? Man, I gotta catch up. Okay, so. We've got, it would be different, yeah? It's light enough though, so it's not, I don't feel like it would give it anything. I think it would be close to like having a neutral, right? Um, the green is pretty bright. We got the blue and the gray, but we're afraid we're gonna lose a color on here. We got the blue and the green. Dark green and coffee dye. I wonder if I could do this. Hold on. This 
green one. You're not cooperating with your friends here, man. Boxes. Or flowers. What? Eric, Maddie, you coming home today? Yes. Okay. Probably late, though. Yeah, I'm going to try something crazy. Let's see the pink up here. Well, I mean, I do but I think it might be too dark. What do we think? How is this for, okay, look. Why you gotta be complicated over there, Megan? I'm talking about like that. It's too dark. Yeah, I'd rather the foxes pop. The flowers are an accent. I really don't like this linen, but the color's pretty. There she goes again. But there who goes again? Sticking with Freya. I love the bright color, so take it or leave it. Too dark. Okay, let's vote one out. Well, yeah. Um, let's vote one out. So, um, I'm thinking I don't care much. Between these options, the dark green's right here. Oh, oh, take out the dark green. Um, yeah, the dark green's under the coffee. I think it might be, of these options, one of my least favorite. Let's just say that. I like it, but I'm just not so sure on this piece. There's that too. So I think we could take out Incoming Storm because we might lose Bluebell. And let's not take the chance because when we have these other fabulous colors, no to that one. So now we're down to, let's see, separate these a little bit so it makes it easier. We're down to pink, coffee dyed, light green, and blue green. Right? Now we might still have a problem with that blue bell. You have to like it too, you know. You know. I do have to stitch on it. And I don't dislike any of these options, except for maybe the gray. Um, but. Oh, brown got lost. So. How many of us didn't like the pink? I can't remember. The what? I have. Wait. No, I have And, okay, here's something to think about, too. Is, what if I do other ones in the set? Am I gonna want the same fabric? Now, coffee dyed, I can always coffee dye. Um, it may have different shading, but not a big deal. Um, I have 
the light green would might be a problem. I might not be able to get more of it if I decide I wanted to do the entire set. And then like the other ones in the set, are they gonna look good on green? So the coffee and the pink are more neutrals. So it might make it a little easier. So I'm thinking coffee. That's what the coffee dyes look like. <laughs> She's like, I suppose you have to like it too. Okay. At this house, like All right, I'm gonna go with coffee. But you just wanted to see all, I know too many choices. Y'all just wanted to, cause I have lots of awesome fabric. Post it on the group, I can do that. And Carly, Carly said coffee from the beginning, didn't you Carly? Okay. Over there. Um, we're trying to Are we starting to hear Ryan too much? Because I can't, I can smush that if he becomes a problem. You just let me know. What? And look at my workers down on the job, like, just chilling, sleeping. No, that's not too bad. Okay. All right. I don't keep talking, though. I want to. It distracted me and I'm dead. <laughs> oh, no, I'm so sorry. No, oh, 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 oh. I keep chewing like a dog. Hello. What's well, everybody up to today? I'm gonna jump on virtual stitchers as soon as I get done with this. I can't believe I've already been on here for an hour and a half. It took an hour and a half to figure all that out. I really appreciate y'all's help though. That that was fun. Is this fun? Should we do this again sometime? I don't usually do the whole life thing. I'm trying to diversify. I'm trying to um, learn to do other things. Ryan, Daddy says he can hear you. How, how are you talking to him? He, he's listening to the YouTube live. How do you know you can hear me? Because he just texts me and let me know. Your phone? Yeah. Where's our ruler? I need to measure my fabric. I just, you know no, normally, I know this is bigger than 8 by 10, but. You didn't know you this? Yes. Um, I could tell you for count twice. So, yeah, uh, Megan no, doing a stitching live. Doing? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting on fabric, you said? Where's my ruler? Oh. I think it's time for a new ruler. Like, look, it's broke. Well, mine is four. You have one of your friends, Oh, yeah. Oh, God. So, I dropped We're going to just use this half of the fabric and I'll go and trim it later. No, I didn't block him. He blocked me. Where's mine? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna give you a hard time the next time you give me a hard time, woman. She was like, I know. I, I went to see you on virtual. Got a corner gauge. So, what I do is when I can see it in, like, in the crevices, that. No. Right. 
So that's two by two. And I need a needle. My, I bought a dry erase board the other day to have all my, um, yes, I'm about to start this right now. This is my mania start today. I'm gonna put a couple stitches in before I let y'all go. Uh, <laughs> drank too much is what you did. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Megan. I'm just teasing you. Um, okay, so I bought a dry erase board to keep all my... Um, what do you call them? Needle binders? And then I put little things around it to hold my scissors. And it keeps trying to fall off the wall. So I may need to have my husband screw it into the wall or maybe get a different type of hanger for it. It's just those 3M like sticky things. So... Wine poisoning. There you go, Ryan. Wonder Woman. Whoa, whoa! How did they die by defaults? I need to do 200 stitches on it tonight. To get my I'll next letter. We only have like I'll one more day to finish the letters for the letter of fortune on semi sane stitchers. No, oh. don't, don't go get them. I need to show. So it's falling down, but <laughs> that's all my, this is where I'm going to have my needle minders. And then I have these little things around them, that, the scissors. One of them has already fallen off. So Okay. So I'm going to start in the corner because the border make that easier. I need to skin in the pattern and put it on my iPad, but I can do that. Here in a little bit, I've lost the pattern. I have the cover, but no pattern. Nope. Okay. Megan, you're Marco Poloing me. I'm on here. Okay. We said we're going to use presidential blue or, and because I didn't use it, well, I used one DMC, I know, you can but all the rest of them, when it's specialty floss like this, I just throw the whole specialty floss into the back. It gets um, priority or whatever. Whereas DMC, I would cut off lengths and put it on a floss card. He's sitting here for another 30 minutes getting that ready to go. So is anybody stitching? I know. I've kept you pretty well distracted with all the colors. Get the hoverboard. Get the hoverboard. The hoverboard. Mm -hmm. Why my Move to the side so you can kind of. Everybody's quiet now. Oh, everybody's stitching, right? No. No. I've been at Hobby Lobby this whole time. <laughs> nice. Are you buying anything awesome? No, I 
I have, I bought some stuff to fully finish that Lake Memories that I finished at retreat. Um, it's still out in the truck, but I, I've got the stuff to do it. I'm actually going to fully finish something in the next couple weeks. <laughs> Just being fabric. Oh, Are you making project bags? Oh, can I connect? 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 Can or no, you finished filming goes and you're getting stuff to fully finish. I'm gonna enter the bag. Nice. I think that's the cool thing about YouTube. You can YouTube anytime, anywhere. It doesn't matter. I listen to YouTube everywhere I go. Halfway finished. Who is this? Is this a random kid or something? Okay. Uh, does he know? Ryan. Yes. I'm going to get off now. I appreciate all of you helping me to kick this up okay. and get it started. And I will post progress pics. And of course, um, my video tomorrow will yeah. show where I get to tonight. Oh, so I hope y'all all have a great day. Oh, he's healing.